my son, only the blood. What up? We back. Fresh out of prison. Fresh out of jail. You know what I'm saying? We back. It's crazy. Finally home. Feels good to be home. I'm gonna set this camera up right over here though, yeah. I'll let y'all real quick a bit, you know what I'm saying? So many of y'all gonna be wondering, what? President, what'd you do? <laughs> Obviously did some wrong shit, but I ain't gonna speak on that in this video. I just wanted to just work on myself back, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking back at home. It's like some part one type shit you do. Back. Got the laptop and everything. You know what I'm saying? We turn. Got the aioli sauce. Should've been put in the kitchen. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Got the microphone. You did. Some real younger pseudo shit, you know what I'm saying? Got the fly camera. You did. <laughs> Big ball shit. Got the portable charger, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a nice new portable charger, you did. So I roll with a dodge shit with that button right here. Tsh, turn it on. Poof, it's full charge. You know, I keep it charged, you know what I'm saying? It's like in case I need power at the crib. And charge my new phone. Just like, hey, this is like an iPhone 15. I could have bought an iPhone 15, but guess what I bought, blood? I bought the Samsung Galaxy, you know what I'm saying? The new ones, too. The one that just came out this year, you know what I'm saying? This shit powerful. I want to get a customizable phone, you dig? I want to get a customizable phone. And I got the screen protector on it with the case, the shockproof case, you know what I'm saying? Real big bullshit, that real fly shit, you know what I'm saying? Real fly shit. And I got the, um, what I got? I got the lip balm, I forgot to put on my lips before I even started this shit. But you know how I go, I'm always. Doing shit after I hit the car, but that's how I've been in life sometimes. Sometimes it's not convenient to just be prepared and then tsh, be able to do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You had me locked up for a minute. I was locked up for like a month. For real. I was in there with fucking, I was in there with murderers, killers, people with, you know what I'm People did the worst of the worst. I went to like four different prisons. You know what I'm saying? I went to like three different, three, three or four different prison stations. You know what I'm saying? Really went to like three, you know what I'm saying? Like real shit. One of the ones I went to is called Map, you know what I'm saying? Melbourne Assessment Prison. Then from there they moved me to MRC, which is Melbourne Remont Center. I mean, no, not Melbourne, but it's called Metropolitan Remont Center. And then the third one they moved me to, it's like a spot like four hours away from my hood, you know what I'm saying? That shit was like, that shit was called Fulham Correctional Center. That's where I went, you know what I'm saying? They had me locked up with a whole bunch of niggas. I went to, you know what I'm saying? Two of the, two of the first prisons I went to was Maximum Security. And then they move me to medium security. You know what I'm saying? In maximum security, them niggas had wooden, wooden forks, wooden bread knives. You know what I'm saying? Just and no knives around, and they wouldn't even let you get scissors and none of that shit. You gotta, you gotta create your own one type shit. But it's, you can't get that shit. You know, like, you know, canteen fucked up. Only you can only go once a week, and a lot of motherfuckers in there broke as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Or if they ain't broke, like. Nigga, it's like a $140 spending limit every month. Every month you can only spend $140 at the canteen. And then $50 on your phone. You know what I'm saying? 50, you can only spend $50 worth of calling on the phone. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked. It's messed up, bro. <sighs> no, no, no. In, in Fulham Correctional Center, the third prison I went to, them niggas, the medium security, them niggas had metal spoons, metal knives. You know what I'm saying? Like, dives around. 
Since it's like, that shit's fucked. And it's dangerous in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers in there stabbing motherfuckers and shit. You know what I'm saying? I could've got stabbed, bro, shit. I was in there, bitch. Johnny. Niggas was in there trying to stab me for sure, you know what I'm saying? I was in there with niggas trying to stab me and shit while I was there. Just cause, just cause you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a productive ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no broke ass nigga, I'm a rich ass nigga. And I'm a smart ass nigga. Niggas hate that shit when you end it. They want you to play dumb, play by the rules. You know what I'm saying? Be scared. Be scared to catch charges. But I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute since I've been home. Feels good. Come home and listen to music. And do whatever I want, really. You know what I'm saying? And be able to be home. Huh, loosen that a little bit so it's easy to raise it up and down. But also still strong, too. <laughs> been a minute. Fuck. Feels good to be home. God damn. I miss y'all. What up? Niggas miss me? I ain't got no lights up in here. Let me turn the lights on and go down. Nah, I don't really see no difference. Mm -hmm. Big B, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> African map. You dig? These are tattoos, by the way. These are tattoos. And they ain't never come around. They ain't, <laughs> they ain't never coming off or oh, ever getting covered up. Yeah, got OTB right here. Only the blood. Oh, this light's getting bright outside. Let me turn off this top light. Let's get that natural look to it, you know what I'm saying? Just so y'all can see this even better and shit. More natural, see? Oh. That's shit, I miss you. Big B! You know what I'm saying? Alright, shit. Yeah, I know. And I got OTB right here. Only the blood, you know what I'm saying? Got only the blood tethered on. You know what I'm saying? King! You know what I'm saying? Got King tethered on. Turn. Yeah, we turn for real. On another level. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's believe that shit real. Young Sur only the blood. <laughs> yeah, sir. Oh, and Big B. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's gonna be over and free, nigga. God damn, them niggas have me locked up, nigga. They, them niggas sent us me to death, nigga. That shit death, bro. I'm telling you, jail, prison. That shit death, man. That shit death. That shit death, man. That shit death. Bro, shit. Ain't no freedom up in there. Like, life is fucked in there, you know what I'm saying? Niggas really get depressed in there. Bro, shit. Like, it's fun, but it's boring at the same time. And it's fucking, it's traumatizing at the same time, you feel me? I was in the slot. Them niggas had me in the slot. Bro, shit. And niggas had me in the slot. And the slot is basically like, like some 23 hour lockdown type shit. <laughs> Real shit, 23 hour lockdown type shit. Where they have you locked in a cell all day. I was in the yard, I was locked up in a cell all day. The yard was a small ass yard where it's the mesh, the mesh roof. You know what I'm saying? Mesh, the sun don't even hit you. Like you be in there depressed. It's not like a normal cell, so you don't, 
you can't have all your property every time you want something or you gotta ask the gods you know what I'm saying with a call button in yourself you gotta ask them if you wanna do something you know what I'm saying like if you wanna go outside sometimes them niggas even be rude too like they'll, they'll try to force you to say please otherwise they ain't gonna open the yard and you can only come out the yard in between the hours of 8 o'clock and 4 p.m. Unlike in the normal, in the, in the normal yard, the normal yard, you can come out to from like, what, 7 a.m. or some shit? 7 a.m. until like 7.30 p.m. <laughs> you know what I mean? mm. That's in the third prison I went to. But in the first two prisons, you gotta, you get, um, you can't come out after 4 p.m., after 4.30, 4 p.m. and 4.30. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, in the second prison I went to, sometimes they let you come, um, like, five, it's 5 p.m. type shit, you know what I mean? Probably a little bit after 5.30, a little, probably a little bit after 5 p.m. Mm. It's crazy. Mm. That's the type of place that makes you want to commit, you know what I'm saying? And you want to take your life type shit. Prison, jail, that's the type of place make you want to commit suicide. Mm. Real shit, it's real rough in there, it's real tough in there. But ain't meant for a nigga like me who, who got passive income, you know what I'm saying? Who knows how to make passive income and who's making it. And who knows how to save himself and these people and all of y'all too. Mmm. Shit real good. Mmm. Mmm. Cause nigga wondering what the fuck is this here. Still good right here. I got a new bed to a new room. See this shit? Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, it feels good to be home, bro. Son. Yo, Young Rissudo is home. I made a new channel. The channel's called Young Rich Sudo, so y'all go subscribe to that shit. Ah, uh, shit. Lift your voice up. Lift up your voice. Light up your voice. <laughs> oh, shit. Tell you, this camera, was this, this mic is dangerous. I'm finna be back to the reactions, the travel vlogs, everything, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the mukbangs, the advice, the lives. Come on, we back. On Bloods, we back. This, that, for L shit. You feel me? This shit for life. And the reason why I created a new channel, too. Cause like the people got my phone right now, like the police got my phone right now, my iPhone 14 Pro Max. That's why I had to come out and spend that bag just to get this Samsung Galaxy. My oh, shit. This this phone is one of the best phones in. Out right now, 2023. Yeah, I'm home right now. You feel me? It's um, it's the 20th of right right now is the it's Wednesday the 20th. Wednesday the 20th of December, at 10:08 a.m. You feel me? At 10. You know, it's about to be 10:10 10, 10 a.m. Double digits. You're doing it. Yeah. Hey, don't forget this shit. No matter who try to destroy you, no matter who try to kill you, don't forget. Like, 
This OTB shit is real, you feel me? You gotta be able to hold yourself down in situations like these when everybody's going against you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta know what to do and what not to do. But one thing I can say is, I'm definitely the reason why I got locked up. And I was wrong for doing what I did, right? But at the same time, I was also a right for doing what I did because I'm the type of person I follow my heart, you feel me? And even if my heart leads me to trouble, like, I'm a deal with a type of shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know I'll be ready for these consequences, you know what I'm saying? I've been, like, telling myself, yeah, I'm probably going to get locked up soon. I've been telling y'all I'm probably going to get locked up soon. And now that it happened, I learned my lesson because that's a place I don't deserve to be and that's a place I don't want to be. And I'm going to do whatever to not be there anymore. If, if that means not doing what my heart wanted me to do before I got locked up, then I'm gonna stop that shit. I'm gonna cut that shit off. I'm not even gonna try to reduce it like how I was kind of like fake doing it. You know what I mean? Like, nah. This time I'm gonna completely cut it off. You feel me? I'm completely cutting off all the people who could potentially send me to prison, all the people who could potentially get me locked up. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to follow the rules a bit type shit. Cause yeah, you know what I'm saying? Best believe, like, nigga, I'm home for real. And yeah, nigga, I got some fucking responsibilities out here. And nigga, gotta hold it down, you dig? Like, real shit. Just, I gotta just stay strong, stay tough. Like, man, I'm lucky to be home before Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Like, real gang shit. Nigga, them niggas locked me up last month, nigga. Real shit. Yeah, we just, you know what I mean? We, got, we turned up. We steady turned up. We lit. Yeah, we out. And I'm finna be on my share from now on. I'm finna be posting all day, every day. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. On all my channels. Right now, I got. Mm, very limited access tomorrow. Get on Sudo TV channel. You feel me? But. Now that I created this other channel, Young Rich Soto, I'm finna go hard on that. I'm finna get that monetized real fast. I'm finna post hella videos on that channel real fast. Heaps. I'm finna go hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna be going live on my phone. I'm finna be making videos on my phone. Because this Samsung can still take some high quality videos, some high quality photos. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see these, these three cameras, nigga, they go dumb. It be, it be like an iPhone, you know what I'm saying? I, I even bought this phone intentionally because I could have bought the iPhone 15 or the iPhone 15. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I was, I was going to buy the iPhone 15 because that's like the best phone to get. Um, I was going to buy the iPhone 15, but I'm like, nah, I want a customizable phone. I want a phone that's going to change my life and the way I think and the way I move in life, the way I act, the way I behave, how I create content. How I upload content, how I post it, um, how I write down notes, how I use my phone, how I call people. The, co the complete customization, and I just thought, nah, like, I just went and did some research to find, like, the best, 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 best Android phone. And, you know, Samsung Galaxy, they got that shit. They got that shit. They got the best Android phone. And this is one of the best Android phones that you can get on the market right now. In terms of like for the type of phone I want, cause I want a phone like a computer. I want a phone like a iPhone 15, and I got it. Yeah, I had to give them that bag. Yeah, I had to spend that money. But hey, bro, that's how I go out check. You know what I'm saying? For the dash, resident, <laughs> resident. And um, another thing I want to do as well, I'm trying to like make music too, like for real, I love making music, I'm trying to, I was even, fuck, when I was locked up, I was thinking, uh, fuck, when I get out, I'm finna make a first day out video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, I gotta record, I gotta record the song, and then get somebody to shoot the video for me, because I can shoot it by myself, but I want, I want to make more of like, a video where, you know what I'm saying, like, you, they, somebody holding the camera and moving with me type shit. Real talk, because I got tripods and all that, like, this is on a tripod right now, this camera. 
I got tripods and all that. I got a little um little extra like handheld tripods as well too, so I can capture me moving as well like on video. But and you can extend it too. I can extend this shit like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like extend it out like wide as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Or well, that way, I can lift it up again. Then you can just shh, this one can go long as fuck. Like long, I'll make a stand on this. You know what I'm like. But my point is, I need help. You know what I'm saying? I know some videographers, but I'm gonna have to give them that bag. And y'all know me, you know what I'm saying? I'm fresh out. Yeah, I got that bag, but I'm still getting to the bag today. So I gotta put in some work, like, to be able to, like, consistently get a videographer. Or well, potentially somebody who can help me with it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna pay the nigga for sure. Come on, we grown. We gotta pay for shit. We gotta pay the rent shit to, to you know to use a nigga time. <laughs> On blows. You know what I'm saying? On blows. We gotta pay to use a nigga time. But like I said, yeah, I got limited access to my TV channel. Uh, limited access to you know pseudo world. I got, I got unlimited access to the you know, pseudo TV channel. I got unlimited access. I mean, I got limited access to the you know, pseudo TV channel. I got limited access to uh you know, pseudo world channel. And I got limited access to you know, pseudo reaction channel. Is it? Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, and I got limited access. And I got limited access to, you know, sort of trying to, the original, the first one I ever made. Uh, but but you know me, I keep facing all these adversities, and I keep getting through it. Vice versa, like y'all you know, go through all this crazy stuff too. But just cause you, I don't see it like how I show y'all and how y'all see it from me, that don't mean like it ain't happening. You feel me, bro? That don't mean it ain't happening. Real tough. And shout out to everybody who really supported me. Somebody, everybody who really been holding me down the whole time while I've been gone. And who ain't been sending me no hate. And shout out to the people who have been sending me hate. And who haven't been holding me down the whole time while I was locked up. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all bitch ass niggas. I'm ready to go to war with any of you niggas. Including the people in in power, you dig, including the people who, like, trying to force certain, like, conditions on me and shit, you know what I'm saying, and certain fucking rules and trying to make me feel you know that, including the enforcement or whatever, because, like, you only live once, and y'all gotta remember, like, people like me, we die young, so we be needing to do whatever we want to do sometimes. We don't be wanting to get caught, but like we be willing to get caught knowing that we doing what we want to do and life is sure. You did? I've been seeing the hate, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who can ever, anybody who can take you away from your kids, your family, your friends, your people, they evil, and you gotta stay away from that. Me, like, I'm I'm so attracted to evil. Like, ever since I was young, I've been attracted to evil. I've been attracted to like the shit that is gonna destroy your future, destroy your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that. Like, I've been attracted to danger ever since I was young. Dude, that's why when I was in prison, like, I was pressing shit, you feel me? Like, when I was breaking rules, I was, you know what I'm saying? Getting geeked. <laughs> yeah, then, like, niggas was getting faded. Real yeah, shit, like, Nigga, I, I don't I don't go to fucking jail and prison to follow rules. I go to to do my time and get the fuck out. And inside there, like I was locked up with niggas who were looking at themselves like, damn, my life is over. 
oh, damn, I wasted my life. I did all this fucked up shit, all this and that. Like, niggas wasn't, a lot of people wasn't in there, like, looking at their life, like, oh, like, damn, I was doing what I wanted to do. I'm proud of myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I was chasing my dreams. I was fucking, you know what I mean? Following my, my intuition. Like, damn, a lot of niggas regret that shit. Like, what? Come on, me, I don't regret a lot of shit I did. Because I follow my dreams. I dropped out of school to chase my dreams. You know what I'm saying? I had something to prove all my life. And I've been proving it all my life. And there's evidence. You know what I'm saying? And when I was in there, everybody, everybody, everybody knew me because I'm famous as fuck. And niggas know me from music. And, like, that's just what it was. Like, what, like, nigga, it was, yeah, everybody showed me respect. But, yeah, you had them niggas who, like, try to fake press me and try to figure out what gang... I'm from and who I'm, like who I'm fucking with, which gang I'm fucking with, especially because niggas, damn, like my nigga, I lost my niggas, you know what I'm saying? I lost my niggas in my hood, like you know what I mean? Like, so niggas are trying to figure out, like, hey, what up? Like, the fuck, like who, like uh, who, who you be holding down, like in your hood or near your hood type shit? Nigga be trying to figure out my reputation, and so like we also I had some fights in there too, you know what I'm saying? I had some cellies, I had some cellmates. When I was in the normal in the normal cells and shit, and damn niggas was fighting like damn I had to fight myself and get that nigga out of my cell type shit, you know what I'm saying? And then like when I was like when I was almost about to get out type shit, cause I had like a court date, and I was assuming I was gonna get out type shit. Boom, and them niggas was like, nah, you ain't getting out. You feel me? Like you ain't getting out. You got another court date soon. You gonna have to wait it here and shit while you still fighting this shit. And the reason why they said that is cause nigga my nigga shit. My lawyer wasn't well, even ready to, like, fight that shit just yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, it was, like, you know what I'm saying? It was, like, my, one of my lawyers from in the past type shit, and that nigga came through. And he, he, he fought my cases in the past, too, like, when I was younger. Like, and then he helped me fucking beat that shit. He helped me beat, like, some of my cases back then. And, like, like years ago and shit. And then, like, so the nigga came through, like, he's, like, came through, yeah. He's, like, yeah, we're going to beat this, you know what I'm saying? We're going to fight this shit. And hopefully you get out before before Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to try to get you out before Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Like, but nigga ain't ready to, like, deal with this shit right now. We'll try to get another court, I mean, we're going to get another a different court date, like, in between probably, like, the 18th to the fucking the 22nd, right? So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let's, let's, let's try to do this ASAP and shit. I miss my peoples. I ain't spoke to my peoples. It's hard to get them on my phone list. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, these, like, nigga, the police was faking it. Like, nigga, like, they, they trying to help me get get my mom on the phone list type shit and be, like, help me be able to talk to her type shit. Because I was trying to talk to my peoples, to my fam. I still got family out here. You did. Like, I told y'all in the past, I still got my, my I still got my mom's. Still got my dad, like, you know what I'm saying? I still got siblings. I still got family out here. I still got friends, you know what I'm saying? I still got people out here in these streets that I be tapped in with still, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when I come visit the hood, like, I link up with my peoples. Yeah. Straight up, like, these police were faking, like, they was calling them, and they were like, yeah, we've been trying to call your mom and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? We've been calling her, she ain't been picking up. And in my head, I'm like, what? Ain't been picking up? No, she be picking up on, she will pick up on private. Assuming that it's probably going to be either, like, me, one of her peoples, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe somebody who will try and get in contact with me. Like, maybe the law. You feel me? Like, maybe police maybe pol police might even call her type shit. On, like, trying to speak about what I got going on and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, my mom, yeah, she a helpful woman. Like, she, she hold me down, like, when I'm in trouble and shit. So, you know, what I was, like... When they were kept saying that shit, and they, were, they told me how they could call like two days, three days, shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck was going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, when it, fast forward, when I get out, like, I get in contact with my mom, like, and she, she, and she showed me, like, nigga, they ain't even call. They ain't call. Like, what the fuck? If they call on private, I would have answered that shit. And she's like, in fact, while you was inside, I was trying to talk to you bad. And I know I was missing you, and, like, and I was going through it because it was like we couldn't talk. And we ain't talked in a minute, and like, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck you at, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you ain't answered the phone and shit. And like, and then, then when I told my mom, I was like, yeah, the, the police lying. I mean, no, I didn't say shit, the um, police is lying first. First I said like, yeah, I told the police. And then I tried to put the jump phones and all that shit, like what's going on and shit. Then they're like, yeah, they've been calling. 
And she ain't even answering. And my mom checked me straight up. She's like, what? Nah, they ain't been answering. They, they ain't been calling. No way, they lying. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I think I, yeah, I think you're right. I was like, I think after three days or something, like, them niggas just gave up on Corny. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I said, I, after three days of them, like, when they was lying and shit, to my nigga was calling them three days, like, I think after that, they just, like, stopped. Even trying to even call you again. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. I was missing my people. Bro, shit, any nigga who try to like, yeah, that prison shit make him, like, tough and real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of them niggas is dumb as fuck, bro, shit. A lot of them niggas is dumb as fuck. Because, like, nah, that shit, like, it just make you worse. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it make you, like, worse of a person type shit. You you could even come out and, like, be different. You could think different. You could you could lose hunger, you feel me? You could lose the drive to want to do things. You could lose the drive to want to, like, chase your dreams, to want to hustle. Like, do whatever, you feel me? Like, live life, um, be productive, like, to work. Like, it'll make you not really want to do so much and shit, because you come out, like, man, you was in there stressing, going through it and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? In front of all these different energies and shit, different lives, like, different charges that other people done caught and different consequences that people got. And it just, it'll fuck with your head, you know what I'm saying? It's not somewhere you want to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was in there, even when I was in there, like, a motherfucker, motherfuckers in there, you know what I'm saying? Getting jilted and shit, like, when I came. And then when I was in there, somebody threw a fucking kettle at somebody type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all know what a kettle is, yeah, the shit you use to boil water for your tea and shit. Somebody threw that shit at somebody, you know what I'm saying? And then somebody, like, nigga, nigga, motherfucking, nigga, nigga, I stabbed in there before I even fucking pulled out type shit. And it's crazy, because when I popped out, nigga, my people told me about... Some like niggas, some some niggas, some shit going on out here too. You know what I'm saying? The nigga getting, nigga getting, no man, like a nigga getting hit up and shit. Nigga getting stabbed, like damn, like, nigga, my people's gonna throw a lot of people out here, gonna throw it, but but we gonna be straight. We gonna be straight. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how life be. You know what I mean? Especially around these times, if you expect everything to go good, like a lot of shit can go bad, like. And you just gotta take that and be strong and fight, like, and don't give up. Like, a lot of people give up when crazy shit like this happens. You ain't supposed to give up. You're supposed to use this to help you continue going. Yeah, dick! <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Man, I was in there doing push ups, hella push ups, in there working out, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, like, and then working out, exercising, playing basketball, dunking. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga. <laughs> this is going hard. Who would need? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And then having fun, like damn, like I was in the in the third prison I went to, Fulham Correctional Center. Like they had a pool there, it was crazy. Like I was in there swimming too, like right after the gym went jump in the pool. Swimming. Oh, it was so fun, like you know, on a nice hot day too with the with the sun and the clouds, like damn. Like, that shit was like a holiday. Even though I was there for like a few days, like, no, that shit was there for like a holiday. That shit was like a holiday, I swear. That shit was like a holiday. You know, that DJ will be like making me, will be making. We'll be saying this in, in like in the start of people's music and shit. He's like, holiday season. Yeah, that was, that's, that was in my head like while I was there. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, but life is so short. Like, like life is so short, man. Like, I suggest all y'all just do whatever you want to do. As safe as possible and as legal as possible, you know what I'm saying? And do your shit and fucking keep working. Stay out of trouble. Stay out of prison. Stay out of jail. Cause like that shit, 
it's gonna get you nowhere in life. But when you're outside, you can do so much for yourself and for your people. Um, and you know what I mean? And things change. You feel me? Like gentrification. Like like things is constantly getting built. Like when I came out, I'm like, damn. Like look at all these new buildings, all this new shit. Like new life happens, and people tend to forget about you. So if you don't want people to forget about you, and if you don't want to get mad at people for potentially forgetting about you, then you gotta do whatever you can to stay out here in the free world. You dig? Cause like freedom is shit, nigga. Freedom is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Freedom is beautiful. And like, and like a lot of us don't even understand our freedom until we lose it. It's sad to say, but a lot of us people need to get locked up in order for us to understand our freedom and understand what we got to do while we're free to stay free. You know what I'm saying? Because freedom is not only just like a one time, oh yeah, here's bail, you know what I'm saying, oh here, here's bond. Nah, it comes with responsibilities too, it also comes with a, hey man, this is also like a ticket, like a warning type shit, like yo, you could end up here again, doing what you did, or breaking these rules that come, these rules and conditions that come with your bail and your bond. You did, you know shit, like, Don't fuck up. That's what you gotta be on. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And if you fuck up, don't be mad later when them consequences come because you knew that was gonna come. Trust me, a lot of us be knowing they gonna come. But a lot of us be fucking stupid and dumb and fucking... and selfish too. And ignorant. You know? And naive. And naive. It's sad, you know, like a lot of us really probably ain't never gonna change, but at least let's try to improve, you dig. That's just, that's all I want. Like, I just want us to improve and shit. There's other ways to do shit, you dig? A lot of niggas think, like, there's no other way to get money. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, be a content creator. Go get your camera. Go, like, use your phone to start recording yourself doing shit. But there's other ways to make it out. You know what I'm saying? There's other ways to get money. Like, stop always trying to do the same shit. Especially if the same shit's gonna put you in prison. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the same shit is gonna get you locked up and put you in jail, like, come on, man. Real talk, Jay. And sacrifice, too. I hope y'all, like, I hope prison and jail, like, it, it fucking, it helps y'all understand sacrifice, too, because you gotta sacrifice certain things to do what you want in life, you know what I'm saying? You gotta sacrifice certain things to be free. You know what I mean? Like, and sacrifice is beautiful. I swear, sometimes it'll come in like a ugly way. Like, sometimes consequences is ugly. But they, there's like, there's beautiful, there's beautiful results and, and a beautiful outcome in the process of like, you know what I'm saying? Bouncing back in the process of dealing with that. <clears throat> For real. You know what I'm saying? I'm a product of my environment, but I'm also the person in control of my decisions and my choices. So, I'm gonna just make better choices from now on. I'm gonna, like, move very different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was in there, like, I didn't smoke no weed and fucking... Yeah, in ages. So, like, my mind, like, it's better. Like, it's, I think better, I move better. And also when I'm watching myself and how I use, and what I used to do while I was faded and while I was drunk too, I was thinking like, what the fuck? Like, man, you was going crazy even though you was like doing what you wanted to do and and like also having positive and successful results. Like, a lot of what you did, you shouldn't have did it. 
you know what I'm saying, a lot of what you showed, and by you, I'm talking about myself, a lot of what I did, I shouldn't have did it, a lot of what I showed, I shouldn't have showed it, because I'm famous as fuck, I'm having people watching me, thinking in their head, yeah, they can do exactly this too, I got a lot of people watching me and thinking, oh yeah, damn, like, damn, if he can do it, I can do it, okay, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it in like a, a way where I'm going to try not to get caught. I'm going to try not to, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to be more slick or I'm going to try to, nah, nah. A lot of what I did, y'all shouldn't have seen that. Especially because my influence, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm famous as fuck. I got big influence, like, and my shit, my influence spread to people I don't even know it's spreading to, including children. So from now on, like, I gotta be careful what I show y'all and how I show it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I gotta respect the position I'm in. I gotta respect the power I got, the influence I got. You know? Real shit. I was in there trying to like think what it, what exactly what I'm gonna do when I get out. But I was knowing in my mind, yeah, I'm finna do a live when I get out. I'm finna go live, I'm finna I'm finna air this out, I'm finna say this, I'm finna say that, I'm finna you know what I'm saying? I'm finna bug fuck up. You know what I mean? Like J May said, like I'm finna oh, I'm finna bug up. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get out and turn up and just Play all this music and dance and jump around. Jump around and turn up. You know what I'm saying? And show niggas that I'm still not scared to get sent back. You know what I'm saying? Like, and fuck it. At the break the rules. You know what I'm saying? Cause best believe them niggas watching me now. They've been watching me, nigga. Yeah. Since before I knew they was watching me, then when I found out they was watching me. And now, I got a bull. Got to chill, man. You know what I'm saying? You niggas don't want me fucking bugging up. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Niggas don't want me bugging up like that. Even though they, they didn't tell me that they'll all be bugging up in so many ways. In the ways they did say they don't want me bugging up, like, I ain't finna. Cause y'all know what up. I told y'all what up. In the situation with that. And how careful I got to move and shit. And how certain things can get me locked up, you know? So I'm bull. All right, I'm bum a bull. I'm a bull. I'm, I'm a bull. I'm a bull.
thank y'all for watching. Y'all slow on the bus.